Not only did Donald Trump rant during closing arguments in his civil fraud trial, he also attacked the testimony of his former lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen, just after. Listen. He's a felon, convicted felon, and uh, not a good person. But that's their only witness, and he's now crashed and burned. They have no witnesses. And by the way, that witness took back everything that he said. He took back everything he said in court, took it all back. And here now is Michael Cohen, former attorney for Donald Trump, author of Revenge and host of the Mea Culpa podcast. Michael, nice to see you. I just wanted to give you a chance to respond to what Donald Trump said. Is there a reason really to respond? I mean, he makes things up on a regular basis, and no matter how many times that Alina Haba or Chris Kyes or Donald Trump attempt to denigrate me and to impugn my credibility, the one thing that we all know, the one thing that Donald knows, which is why he looks so terrible, it's why he looks so nervous and preoccupied, is that the bill is coming, and he doesn't have the money to pay it. So sure, why not attack the witness? Why not attack the judge? Why not attack the judge's law clerk? Attack everybody, because what Donald Trump knows is that he was handed a business by his father to which he destroyed, and now that's going to be his legacy. Let's talk about the facts of what he said. You did not recant your testimony on the witness stand. No. What's, he, what's he referring to? I have no idea. I mean, that would be something that you would have to ask him because only Donald knows what's going on inside Donald's head. He makes things up. One of the things that they jumped out of the courtroom screaming, we won, we won, is when they asked me a question about specifically, did Donald Trump tell you to inflate the numbers? And the term specifically is very specific, right? He did not. But what they decided to do is to ignore how I continued, which was that Donald Trump speaks like a mob boss. And you don't have to specifically say something, especially when you're with the guy for over a decade, when you know exactly what he wants you to do, you do exactly what he wants you to do, and he signs off on it. It's just the distinction between explicit and implicit. So, Michael, you did plead guilty to lying to Congress. You did admit just about a month ago that you sent citations, legal citations that did not exist because you found them on AI to your, your attorney. And you knew that this was going to come up in this trial. And you know it's going to come up if and when you were a witness in other trials, including Manhattan DA Alan Bragg's case against Donald Trump. You were a lawyer for a long time. How do you think a jury sees you? as a witness okay that a great great question thanks for asking it john let me be very clear the lie and i'll say it a million times i'm going to say it on the stand the lie that i told congress was the number of times that i stated i spoke to donald trump about the failed trump tower moscow real estate project Donald, his team, and don't forget, it wasn't just me. It was Ivanka, it was Jared, it was Alan Garten, Abby Lowell, Ty Cobb, you know, uh, Jay Seculo. We all worked on this letter, which, of course, I did present and I put into evidence before Congress. They wanted me to say the number three, that I spoke to Trump about it three times because that's what Donald wanted. It was de minimis and, it's, and it was on his... Um, it's, it's what he wanted. The real answer was 10. And if anybody would turn around and say that my credibility is impugned because of the three versus 10, well, there's nothing I can do to change their mind. Now, as far as the AI is concerned, I want to be clear about this. Yes, I went on Google Bard because I don't have Westlaw, LexisNexis. Now that you know, I'm going to um, go for my... Uh, license my bar application. I'm going to ask for it to be reinserted, uh, reinstated. So I used what I thought was a very powerful AI tool, Bard, um, which is part of Google. And it produced a hundred different citations, which I forwarded to my lawyer. Now, I want to be clear about something. My other lawyer, Danya Perry, found the mistake. We notified the judge, all right. Uh, before the judge um, 
acknowledged or even knew that they were inaccurate. Southern District of New York prosecutor Nicholas Roos didn't acknowledge or didn't notice that there was a mistake. We did, and we sent proper citations with new cases that exactly are on point to what we wanted, which is the fact that these uh, terminations, these early terminations of supervised release are very common. Mm. That's all that it was. So once again, I don't think either of these will have any effect upon my credibility, uh, whether I testify before the Let Manhattan me, uh, DA uh, or not. Let, you obviously worked with Donald Trump for a long time, so I want your take on one of the things he is now trying, I think perhaps to mitigate this notion out there that he's sort of been running on, that when, if, if he is elected president again, that it will be a period of retribution. Listen to what he's saying now. I'm not going to have time for retribution. We're going to make this country so successful again. I'm not going to have time for retribution. And, and remember this, our ultimate retribution is success. What's your view of that? <laughs> uh, I hope that he's telling the truth. Unfortunately, I know that he's not. Donald is a very vindictive human being. Just take a look at some of the statements that he made. If you punch him, he wants to hit you back 10 times harder. That's who he is. Now, of course, he won't do it himself. He will just have SEAL Team 6 do it. If you want to know who Donald Trump is, just listen to him. Just listen to what he's saying. This in front of this Iowa audience, it's an absolute lie. He is going to spend the next four years, if God forbid he's reelected, vindicating retribution, causing chaos and destruction to, the, to this country. The only person who will benefit will be Donald Trump and no one else. Michael Cohen, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much for coming in.